Hello everyone, this is a discussion six and uh, this week's discussion uh, we will majorly focus on the Fourier series. Uh, so the concept of this uh, uh, chapter is, is very very simple. So we would not spend so much time. Okay. So we can uh let me first go through the content here. We will talk about the uh we will briefly review the concept of Fourier series and uh, the related to Euler's formula. The eigen function and uh, we will give the concrete example of how to calculate the Fourier series. series. Uh, we will give a very simple example of calculating the Fourier series of a data function. And also I, I will give an example of eigen function. Okay, that's all uh, for the discussion here. Okay, let's start. The definition of the Fourier series, as you have learned by in professor class, if we have, we have Ft, it can be decomposed by the Fourier series, by the summation form of the C, K, E, J, K, Omega, T, from minus infinite to infinite. And we are the, the coefficients C, K can be calculated by the by the integral of ft multiplied with e minus j k omega zero t dt. So uh, it's noted that the relationship of the ck uh, how to calculate ck is, is given in the lectures. You can find the the in lectures in professor's lectures uh, about how to derive the formulation of CK. Uh, and this mathematical equation is the I think this is the only important the most important equation of this class of uh, I think of the chapter of Fourier series. With it, with this in mind. When doing the calculations in Fourier series or doing the questions related to the Fourier series, we need to uh, be aware of our the Euler's formula that we learned before. Maybe in in the first or second week, we find that the Euler's formula is also very important here. We have the E J theta could be right as cosine theta plus. J sin theta, and also we have a cosine omega t. It can be right as the e j omega t plus e minus j omega t, and then we have sine omega t. It can be right as e j omega t minus e minus j omega t. So these three uh, formula can help us to to do like to freely do the transformation between uh, when we are answering questions. So uh, it's important to uh, remember this in mind. The C is about the eigenfunction. Eigen function is another important concept of uh, uh, this week's study. Eigen function defi it defines that xt, if we have xt, it is an eigen function of a system. It means that when we import, input the xt into a system, the output should be a scaled version of the xt. So, you can write 
if it is eigenfunction of of like the system the output yt should be like the a scaled version of xt and a here should be a constant Okay, and then uh, we'll give an example about how to calculate the first series. Um, let's look at a very, very simple example. So if we have the xt equal to delta t minus lambda, and uh, we define the lambda is smaller than the period of t0 and larger than 0. So if we draw a figure of the, the t0 and t0, the delta t, t minus lambda would be like this. Uh, to, to, do, to calculate the first series, uh, we need to calculate its uh, efficiency coefficients because we know that the ft can be write as the minus infinite to infinite of the c k e j omega zero jk omega 0 t and uh, here if we want to derive the ck we can also use the formula show above ck is equal to and we substitute the ft with the delta t minus lambda and we get the e minus j k omega zero dt so uh, yeah so here please in mind uh, please keep in mind for the ft the jk omega zero t here the sign is uh, positive but for if you want to calculate the ck the sign the sign here is the negative sign And uh, from this, we can find that only when t is equal to lambda, the later term will have a value. So we will substitute the t with lambda, and we can get the t0, 1, uh, 1 over t0 of e minus j k omega 0 lambda. So this is what we get for the ck and uh, then we can substitute the then we can get the answer of the ck uh, answer of the ft so we can get the ft that's equal to T0 E minus J K omega zero lambda multiply with E J K omega zero T and uh, it can be T0 
isn't it? E J K omega zero T minus lambda. So this is what we get what we get for the uh, for the four series of the data function. Okay, last is about the uh, example of a typical question like how to determine if FT is an eigenfunction of a system. As we, as we said that if FT is an eigenfunction of a system, this means that we input FT, FT and we will get uh, its scale, the output should be a scaled version of FT. And here, uh, we know that the here the system is LTR system. We can tentatively like the define the import response of the LTR system as the HT. So if we input FT into the S system and the output should be the conversion of the FT and the HT and the future, we can further write this conversion as the, the integral which we, which is what we learn uh, maybe during the last weeks to or last two weeks uh, lecture and this can be t minus tau h tau d tau we uh we do the t minus tau for ft uh, but not for the ht because we don't know the uh, real formulation of the ht so intuitively we will do it for the ft and then we can substitute the f t minus tau with the t square, concrete t square, and it will be t minus tau square h tau d tau. And then we can decompose it. It will be composed by three portion. The first is t square h tau d tau. The second portion is the cross uh, multiplication term minus 2t and the third term will be the square of the tau so uh, we can write it as, as in the coefficients of the of the t so before that, we can move the t out. We can find that we can write it as a2, and this is as a1, and this is as a0. So it can be, uh, because the integral of the h tau will not, has no relation with, uh, with t, and it will be a uh, constant, so to say. So it can be right as a a two t square minus two a t plus a zero. We find that it could not be equal to some kind of a square a t square. This is the f t. So clearly. If clearly we can find that the if we input a t square into this LTS system, the output would not be somewhat a multiplied with the t square. So, uh, when we see this, we can determine that the f t equal to t square will not be the eigenfunction of this LTR system. Okay, so this this is what we uh, I want to share for 
what I share for this uh, week's discussion. Thank you.